Hi everyone, this is Brian Hayes and welcome to part one in a new series called Understanding Major Chords on the Guitar. Probably the first major chord we ever learn on the guitar as a beginner is a one finger three string version of a C major chord. This one. We put our index finger on the first fret of the second string of the guitar and we only play strings three, two and one. That produces the three notes of a major chord. Not in the, the normal order of one, three, five as a piano player may first learn it, but a G, C and an E played in any order creates a C major chord. Now that shape if we take it up one fret, becomes the standard D shape. In other words, if we base the chord from the second string, that is the name of the chord C, and take every one of those three notes up a fret, we actually end up with the famous D chord shape that you can see my fingers are doing now, where the index finger is on the first fret of the third string, second finger on the first fret, of the first string and third finger on the second fret of the D string. The name of the major chord is based off the second string. So whilst that's the very familiar D major shape, it's actually one fret lower than D. That's how we all know anyone who's ever played Proud Mary or a million other songs that have a D major chord in it. That's the grip, the first grip we learn for the chord D. But if we take it back a fret, it's a D flat or a C sharp major chord. If we take that back a fret, we end up with the first easiest shape C chord we can play on the guitar. If we take this very beginner version of C major, then adopt the D shape, take that up one fret, we're playing, let's call them sharps, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B. So that's the 12 possible major chords in music. When we go up to the 13th fret, so our third finger now is back on the note C, we play a C major chord one octave higher. Now we can base a major chord with the root note on any string on the guitar. Say we looked at playing an F major chord, the earliest way we learn an F major chord is normally where we double stop with our index finger, strings two and one, and reach over with our second finger and play the A on the G string, the third string of the guitar. So now we've got a perfect F major chord, the notes here are A, C and F, again those three notes in any order play an F major chord. We can take that for a walk, this time the name of the chord is on the first string. So F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, that's our 12 possible major chords based off the first string. Up one more fret on the 13th fret, we end up playing an F chord up an octave. Now finally for today's tutorial, what about if we based the major chord root note, the name of the chord, from the third string on the guitar? Well if we play this shape, A, C sharp and E, where we've got our two fingers, one finger on the second fret of the third string, our second finger on the second fret of the second string, and open E, that's an A major chord in 1-3-5 order. So what if we wanted to move that shape up a fret? Well if we now change to, instead of playing that shape there using our index finger and our second finger, let's play it using our third finger and our little finger, our pinky finger. Now we take the closed notes up a fret, so A and C sharp become B flat and D, and the E string has to go up a semitone too. So an A major chord becomes a B flat major chord, becomes a B chord, C chord, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, 
That's the 12 possible major chords where we're basing it off the third string. Up another fret, we're back to where we started. Now a great exercise is to combine those three shapes. Pick a chord at random like a D chord, well that's based on your second string. The root note is based on your second string. And then go to the next shape available going up the neck. Well hang on, that's our next D chord where the root note is now on our third string. So get good at going that D to that D. Go up another inversion, now the root note Remember, in this shape, the F chord shape, is the first string. And finally, go up an octave to where the root note returns to being on the second string. And even though we're only playing a three string guitar here, because the chord in this case is D, we can actually strum five strings throughout. Understanding major chords on the guitar. In this case, we're only looking at the first three strings, but we've played every possible major chord using three different string grips. Hi everyone, this is Brian Hayes. I really hope you enjoyed today's music instruction video. If you did, then you've joined the millions of viewers who have benefited from content on my free music education YouTube channel. Can I ask you to consider two things, please? If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel. That way, you'll be updated every time new content is made available. Secondly, if you are in a position to do so, please consider making a donation towards the ongoing costs of producing these videos. It's safe and easy to do so. It's done via PayPal. There's a make a donation link on the home page of this channel under home about and there's also a donation link in the text for every video. Rest assured that any and all monies received will be reinvested in making this channel the best, most informative, content rich music education channel of its kind anywhere on the internet. Thank you and bye for now.